requirement has been added to the junior classes schedules. The requirement in question is a course called financial literacy, a course that will hopefully prepare students for the future. Uh, in the personal or the uh, financial literacy class, we talk about credit cards, debit cards, um, banking, insurance, taxes, anything that can be a part of your financial life as an adult. The governor of Indiana signed this course into law in May 2023 as a requirement to graduate. So, much like having to earn all the other credits from certain classes to graduate, this class isn't much different. Except for the fact that it is student-paced, which allows for some varying opinions on how this course is structured. Sometimes it can make it hard just because people like to procrastinate and not do it, but other times it can, can be great. This is another grade in the grade book, so grades and how well students do in this course is important. However, the students believe this course isn't really that hard, which is probably a good thing to ease some stress. No, because it's basically just asking me questions about myself, so it's, it's pretty easy for the most part. Uh, the course has been pretty easy. I mean, I've done like one week's worth, but other than that, I think it will be easy since it's student paced. According to a new plan from the Indiana Department of Education, this class is a math credit that gives you one credit to add to your diploma. With the new curriculum being completely remodeled, this change is just one of many. Students, however, feel that this shouldn't really be a graduation requirement. I mean, I don't really think it's a class you need to take. Some, it's kind of just some common sense that you can do, but it can be good and sometimes. Um, since we're just doing a junior year, I think that's, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. My guess is they don't like it. They don't think it would need to be a requirement. Um, again, it's a state requirement. Um, it's extra work. I get it. And, and look, it's extra work on the teacher's me and Mrs. Lines as well, so um, there's extra work all the way around, but I think the value we get out of it, the cost-benefit analysis, you know, it's going to cost a little time, but the benefit that you get out of it's well worth it. For Mr. Dieter, this course hit a personal chord in him. He was someone who wished he had this class when he was in high school because he ran into trouble in the future. For students, this course will help in the future even if they don't realize it. I, I really wish I did because I was from a you know, family didn't have a lot of money, and I went to Butler University, so I had to work. But I didn't understand how to handle the money and definitely uh, take care of my financial future. I really didn't even understand student loans all the way, and I, I learned that quickly in about four years after starting college. But all those financial pieces, I really wish I had when I was in high school, at least some knowledge like this class does. <laughs>